Guess what just dropped? Well, this will give it away. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Football manager. Oh, I'm very excited. Oh. oh, this is going to be thousands of my hours. Okay, so it's just loaded up. Uh, this is the beta version, obviously. And um, I pre-ordered it on Steam, and it just popped up. And uh, it's funny, actually. I didn't get an email or anything. I literally just checked on the page, and it said install. So I don't even know how long it's been out. I'll have to check Loki Doki and those lot, see how long they've been playing it for. Um, but very excited. Okay, so let's start. Let's make a new manager. We are going to be Rejuvenile Delinquent. We are, well, okay, so I'm an English, I'm English by birth. I was lived there for 26 years. I moved here in 1996, and now I'm an American citizen. I think I'm nationality American people, although longer in England just about. I feel English, but I'm going to put American because I've only been a citizen for, you know, a couple of years. So where was I born? I was actually born just outside Glasgow. So let's see if they got Glasgow in here. Wait, they don't have Glasgow? Oh, they only have America. Oh, you know, I've got to do English then. I have to do English just because, uh, uh, no, I'm not Dominican Republic. Oh, come on. Uh, they obviously don't have the towns. They base the towns on your nationality. God, I bet that database is huge. English. Okay, place of birth. Oh, well, actually, I'm English, but I was born in Scotland. Is this going to not show? It's not going to show Scotland's Scottish places, is it? Nope. Okay, have to do Scottish. Just like the great Sir Alex. Fucking hell, this scrolling's annoying. Come on, come on. Why haven't they put a scroll bar on here? There you go, first problem with the beta. You need a scroll bar. Right, where's Scotland? Scottish! Place of birth. Uh, do they have East Kilbride? Because that's where... Oh my God! They do! <laughs> yes! East Kilbride! All right, favorite team. Uh, it's going to piss you guys off. Sorry about this, but uh, yeah. Sorry, I've been supporting them since I was, you know, like seven. We had a lodger who lived with us named Derek Deadman. He was an actor. Uh, you probably know him. If you saw him, you definitely know him. Um, but he was a Man United fan and a Pink Floyd, Floyd fan. So that's why I listen to Pink Floyd to this very day. And support Man United to this very day. Although, at the moment, they're a fucking horrible team. Play terrible football. Uh, experience. Yeah, let's click yes. Uh, responsibilities. Oh, what can we do here? Oh, you can set up your staff responsibilities here. You know what? We're not going to do that right now. I'm just going to put no. Um, and uh, let's get into the game. I'll do that later. Okay. All right. Nice looking screen. Date of birth. Let's put the real date of birth so everyone knows my birthday so they can send me presents. Here we go. May the 7th, 1970. Yes, getting old. Height. Let's put my real height. So 6 foot 11. And my real weight, which is, let's see, 141 pounds. Um. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fucker. Uh, no, I'm five foot nine, and I'm on a diet. I'm gonna put it in though. You ready? Keep scrolling. Oof. God, that's depressing. It should turn red. The numbers should turn red right now. All right, where am I? I'm about two eighty. Am I? Might be a little bit more. Uh, two eighty. Um, generate three D model. We can't do that unfortunately because I'm recording this. But uh, I'll do that on my proper save. So let's just do randomize. Oh, look at him. <laughs> look how fat this bloke is. <laughs> that's how I look. Actually, that's... No, you know what? I'm fatter than that. Oh, my God. Look at the arse on him. I do have a nice arse. All right. <laughs> randomize. I don't know. Four clicks. One, two, three, four. That's what we look like. There we go. Actually, yes. It's not bad. It needs to be grey and balding. Am I balding at the back? No, look at that Muppet hairdo. What is that? Anyway, okay. Am I a suit and tie guy? Shirt and tie? 
Shirt, no tie. That feels me. Suit, no tie. No, 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 no. Overcoat. Oh, there we go. Uh, overcoat and tie. I'm not a tie guy. What's the track he's like? Oh, look at his ass. Look at his belly. Look at him. Look at that posture. Uh, warm up. Oh, those ridiculous ones. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That model's fairly accurate, I must say. Um, Walmart trousers and jumper. There we go. Oh, look how ugly that is. There we go. That's who I look like right now. Uh, let's see. What have we got? Preferences. Anything in here that's interesting that's new? Full screen mode. Yes, football manager. Oh, they have skins. We'll get into that later. Um, high quality match sounds. Holy shit. Wait, can you hear that? Hang on. Let me turn it on. Listen to this. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Let's turn those down. We're going to keep, we're going to keep the sounds though. It's fun to have the sounds. Okay. So we got that and advanced. We're not going to get into all this. You know what? Let's just get into the game. Let's get into the game. And uh, hang on a sec, babe. Making a video. Okay. Um, all right. So let's get into the game. Don't want to quit. Start a new game. Let's start a... What can we do here? We can do create a club. That's what we're doing for our main save. Online career. I don't know. I want to go online. I don't want to meet people. Let's choose a team. Now then. I never start at the top. Let's, I want to see what's in the Vanarama North and South. Okay. So let's see who's in the South. Dulwich is still there. I love Dulwich. Haven't. I don't know. Oxford, Slough, St. Albans, Welling, Dorking. I do love Dulwich. Let's see who they've got on their team. Now, why is it not showing me the team? Usually, it used to be when you would click on the team, it would show you the team and like show you info about the club. Huh. Am I, there's no right click, is there? Is it under advanced setup? No, this is the game database. Hmm. Well, we're going to keep it all at small. We'll get into this later. Well, let's see. How big can we go? So how many... How many can we possibly have? Let's do continents. Hang on. Regions, nations, divisions. Like if we do Europe, if we do everyone in Europe, how many do we get? 268,000. All right, let's do the world. I want to see what... There should be a, a button for just every player. I wonder why they don't do that. Oh my God, there's a lot of players though, isn't there? I can't remember the size. I haven't played since... Um, 2019. Well, I have played. I've been playing it, but I didn't buy it last year. 345,000. Holy shit. North America. 357,000. I can't believe there isn't a full world. That feels odd to me. There won't be many in Oceania, I would think. 360,000. And we haven't even touched South America. Oh, they're all in Europe. Will it top 400? No. 392,000. Holy shit. All right. For now, we're going to keep the game running quick. Because uh, you don't need to get into that. You want to see the game. So we're just going to do a large database with 32,400. We're going to start the regular place preseason. Any changes down here? Use fake players and staff. No, do not use real fixtures. No, do not add key staff. Add players to playable teams. Disable first window transfer activity. Display, disable player attribute masking. No, so we're going to use the default here. This all looks the same. I don't think the editor's come out, so that's, a not, that's irrelevant. You selected 14 leagues from five nations. Yes, start game. All right, let's see how quickly this loads. One of the issues with 19 was very slow loading. I doubt if they've improved that, but we'll see. It's so exciting. I like the look of it so far. 
I'm very surprised at the accuracy of the obese model. Very uh, impressive. Um, I don't know why you can't click on the clubs when you're choosing one. Because that's like an enormous part of choosing a club, right? You go through, like when I do the creator club, I'm going to have to pick a club to take over and change the name of and change the history, take their players, right? So I need to see the players. So it's kind of a, a little unusual that you don't get to see anything about the club before you pick them. Maybe that's a beta limitation or a beta limitation. I don't know. Um, is this the best place for my window? Let's see. I could put you over there. Yeah, I think we'll leave you down there. I'll tell you. I'll try and remember if there's anything down there you're missing. Okay, so speed-wise, it's about the same. I don't think they've made any improvements to speed. I don't know really how they would do that. Maybe they could extend the lo the original loading time, but I think saving and loading... You know, it's a small database, so that's kind of slow. Uh, yeah, I know I'm 50. Fucking hell. All right. Uh, where's the languages spoken? Huh. There's no languages spoken. Have you noticed that? It's gone. Did that go in the last one, or...? That's interesting. Uh, hmm. Anyway, okay, so the appearance is the same. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Suggest based on Dulwich Hamlet. Let's just do that for now. Okay, so anything new here? Working with youngsters? No, all looks the same. Yeah, nothing new here. I always felt the adaptability was completely useless, so let's get rid of all of those points. Um, player knowledge is not... Youngster knowledge, I don't really need as many points in that. I do like to motivate. As far as the actual coaching attributes, I want it all to go into fitness. Maybe goalkeeping. So let's see, what can we do? I don't care about working with youngsters. So let's put it all in shot stopping. There we go. Keep that low, keep that low. Why can't that go any lower? There we go. Click, click. Uh, yeah, that would do. We're not doing anything perfect yet. I would probably, I would probably in the proper game load everything up to full on motivating and on fitness um just because those are the things when you were playing lower leagues that you need right uh would you like to start playing or add additional head coaches i want to start playing that's a new one all right dalich today I've confirmed the appointment of rejuvenile delinquent imagine if that really were my name on a one-year deal worth 60k per annum. That's not bad. Fucking hell for 60 grand for managing in the Vanarama South. I'll take that. Let's see what else have we got. Welcome to Dulwich Hamlet. To get you acquainted with new surroundings, you'll receive our introduction welcome pack. Yes, I like that. Manager role. Oh, general manager vacant. Junior caddy still there. I remember him from 2019. General manager. Hmm. Huh. Can't click on it. Okay. Um, we enter at the second qualifying round, the FA Trophy, third qualifying round. We know all the background. Basic, basic, fairly basic. 3,000 capacity. That all looks good. This is from the president. So who's the general manager? Was that role in 2019? I missed it. Okay. So the coaching staff can file a brief overview of the current squad. Very nice. Let's see. Anyone still here that I recognize from 2019? No, not one player. <laughs> really? Daniel Ojo, that kind of rings a bell. Is that, wait, is that my full squad? Let's have a look at Alassani. Alassani, 24. Not bad pace, not great. Good determination. Oh, look at that determination. I love that. Um, what's his finishing? Finishing, dribbling. Uh, he's okay. He'll score a few goals. Yeah. Best role in duty, winger. Hmm. Okay, well, who else we got here? Mullins. You muppet Mullins. Shamir Mullins. Let's have a look. Oh, he's got a head and he's tall. Oh, look at him. He's a header. He's a good target man right here. I think, what's his passing? His passing is not great. Amazing determination. 
Holy shit, 18 determination. Did they change determination? 18 is massive. That's like Messi or Ronaldo. In fact, I think Ronaldo has 80, had 18 determination. That's amazing. Okay. Let's see. Hunt on the left. Determination four. Hey, that's more like it. He's 23. Oof. Not like in the look of this bloke. Uh, no, we need someone on the left, clearly. Let's see who we've got in the middle here. Tim Lin. Oh, player coach, 35. Okay, so we have good mentors. Let's see. Bravery, good. Determin they've definitely nerfed or um, boosted determination. Great work rate. He's getting on a bit, isn't he? All right, we're going to have to find a backup for him and work him in during this year. 35 is old. He did have a few under 21 caps, so I like that. Penalty taken, not bad. What's his leadership? Okay, so he's the leader. Okay, like that. Let's see a Barbosa. Barbosa is Portuguese, 24 years old. Uh, he's okay. Passing's okay. I mean, you know, it's, vision's low. Is that a playmaker? I can't remember at lower leagues, and I don't know whether these numbers have changed, but if that's our playmaker, no. Uh, surely Timlin is the playmaker, right? His vision's low, too. What's his stamina like? I don't know, like, who's the box-to-box -box here? Yeah, I think he's the box-to-box. -box. Anyway, uh, Higgs on the right. Let's have a look at Higgs on the right. Not bad mentors for a 23-year-old. Um, good stamina. Oh, slow. Oh, he's defensive winger. Oh, my God, look how slow he is. Can't cross the ball. All right, we need wingers. <laughs> oh, wait a sec, wait a sec. What's this here? Teamwork 14 work rate. Good work rate. But I don't know what I can do with him. Tackling? I mean, maybe I could retrain him as a left back? Possibly. Or right back, rather. Let's see how good Barnes. Funny with John Barnes. 23-year-old English defender. Let's see. Decent marking. Yeah. He's okay. Yeah, he's okay. He's got good uh, pace for a... Okay, pace. Stamina. Not bad work rate. I mean... Nothing's going to light us up. Embalo. Portuguese. Embalo. Uh, oh, he's good. Oh, I don't mind this guy. Yeah, look at this. He's worth 35000 so we might sell him. Um, good anticipation, bravery, determination is 11. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. He's a bit of a star. This guy could be a key player. Is he listed as a key player? Important player. Okay, so let's see... Kwagika David, Angolan. Um, eh, it's all right. Not bad. Yeah, centre back. How tall is he? Six foot three. Yeah, he'll do a job. He'll get by. And then on the back on the left, Ojo. Let's see. Not bad. Oh, he's only nineteen. Italian. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I see some chances here. Yeah, this guy's good. For this league, yeah, this is good. What is he listed at? A breakthrough prospect. All right, so there we go. Oh, who's in goal? Let's see our goalie, Pardington. Uh, who is it? It was Stefan Block Jorgensen, I think was the name when I last played Dulwich Hamlet, and he was fantastic. I wonder what happened to him. They must have sold him. He was worth a penny. Um, yeah, I mean, he's okay. He's not great in the air. What's his command of the box is that what that one is well, you can't resize this which is a little annoying um but okay all right so let's see and we've got one loanee oh that's uh that goalie is on loan hmm there's a loanee okay there's the team all right let's see this is the outline of the board's vision for the future we'll be in touch shortly to discuss the finer details strive to make progress on and off the pitch no reject Work within the payroll budget, budget required, yes, of course. We're going to have a look at what that is. Does it tell us any more here? Like, I wish you could see what that means. Like, what is the payroll budget? All right. Sign players to sell for a profit. Uh, well, okay, so here's one issue with this game I've always had. That's hard to do in the first season because you're missing the first transfer window. All the everything sold, so you can only sell in the middle of the season. And in my experience, they don't do that. 
Certainly not for a profit. So I think we're going to fail that one. Um, end of the current season. We want to reach. They want to reach the playoffs. Okay. They want to reach the first round and the second round. Okay. Well, that's always a pref uh, toss up. Reaching playoffs seems like a bit of a big deal with the team I just saw. Like the 2019 Dulwich Hamlet reaching the playoffs is yeah we can do that. I don't know about that though. Hmm. Okay. And then going on, continue challenge, continue, continue, continue. Okay. So all of this should be good. I would be hoping to get promoted next season. Uh, well, I mean, I hope this season, but I don't see it. We might be getting some low knees in, boys. Let's see. Prior to your appointment as head coach, been handling majority of the day today. Okay. Scouting induction. What is this? Is this uh, tutorials? Oh, let's just click. Send them today. Oh, it's all the inductions. Let's just get them out of the way because I'm not going to go through them anyway. Unless there's one here I want. Let's see. Uh, training, no. Tactics, no. Team report, no. Squad dynamics, no. Medical center, no. Squad induction. We'll have a look at that. I don't think I'll need anything. Coaching staff. Development center I will want to take. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, my God. Where is it? This is long. Finally, do not hesitate. Let me know if you like any arrangements below. Schedule a preference to meet the media. Let's do no. I know we always do yes. Arrange your intra squad friendly. Yes, because I want to see the match engine. Send an advice report from the coaching staff. Yes. Okay. Uh, save as rejuvenile delinquent. Let's see how long the save takes. So, so far, so good. A couple of... That was quick. Like that. Very quick. So far in that opening thing, it's just a couple of missing things, but nothing huge. Like not being able to click on the finances... Like, they say that this is a requirement, stay within wage budget, but you don't know what the wage budget is. Maybe that's just a, because it's the first season, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so they hire me. Let's see, players in the last year of contract. Oh, they all recently signed. Tactics induction, don't need to do that. Vision expectation. Oh, we can, so we could now negotiate here. I wonder if we can negotiate the sell for profit. Like what happens if we just get rid of that? Suggest? No. Back on. Um, ah, forget it. Okay, well, I think that one's stupid. We're not going to make that. Um, but let's see. Transfer window in progress. We're not on there. Scouting. We don't want the induction. If you're watching this, we'll figure it out as we play along. Transfers, we don't know. Training is the same. Wait, did something change here? No. Uh, training is saying team reports the same. Squad dynamics. No, it's the same. Uh, medical center is the same. Squad induction. So let's have a look. I want to take it. We can always skip it. This is your first team squad. Yes, we know all of that. Next. We know all that. We know all that. Oh, okay, so there's nothing new here. Let's get rid of that. Coaching staff, we know about all that. Development center, I do want to take. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is uh, this was in 2020, actually, I think. So I'm just behind the curve on this. Players out on loan. Look at everything to go with. It's broken down in key areas. Just the overview, the squad. We have a below average squad. Yes, I know that. First team candidates, no players. Okay, so... Uh, strength of the youth. Oh, this is about the youth team. The under-18 players out on loan. This is candidates who could come through. Okay, so I like that because it was always a little... Um, it was easy to miss stuff, you know. Needs attention, wants to watch. This looks good. Okay. Where we have players out on loan. Okay. That's confusing because they're loan in, not loan out. Okay, I'll just get used to it, I guess. Um, this was just the players out on loan at any given time, but that's not true. They're not out on loan. This is confusing. They're they're alone. Jamie Parrington was loaned to us, right? Am I or am I missing something here? This is where the fun is. List of the players out on loan. Okay, young players being suitably challenged, and if not, there are certain to benefit for a loan move. Yes, okay. Coaching team can handle any of these tasks. Okay. Yep, didn't... Um. Oh, look. 
<laughs> rejuvenated Lincoln by decided to not arrange a traditional press conference held when welcoming a new head coach. One local media source was particularly scathing in its criticism of delinquents' decision to snub the event, stating that the Dulwich Hamlet boss would now be unlikely to get much sympathy or support from their journalists in the future. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, oh, Quaid Taylor. He's still here. All right. He's been there a while. So, uh, I'm not going to make any decisions here. And obviously, the corner takers and all that. Now, in my proper save, I'm going to set up the tactics I mentioned in a previous video. I'm going to do all of this at a very in-depth level. Uh, but for this, it's just showing you uh, what must respond. Must respond to what? Oh, I have to create a tactic. Okay. Um, let's see. Create tactic now. We are going to do... We're not doing any of the pre-made. We're going to create your own style. Why can't I create my own style? Next. Really, is it going to make me go through this? Get out of here! I don't want. I don't want to do this. Get out! Must respond. Why do I? Want, I don't want to respond. What am I missing here? Create tactic now. I don't want to load. I don't have any to load. I want to create your own style. Okay, let's just do a four four two for now. Confirm. That will do. We're just going to leave all of that as is. Okay. We have we have a tactic, right? So what's the problem? Must respond. Oh, for fuck's sake. I hate the fact that I have to take these now. I shouldn't have sent it to myself. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. There's a skip. There's a skip button. I missed it. I missed it. Hang on. Inbox. What's this? Did I did I just <laughs> did I just offer? Uh, I don't know what that is. That ca oh, that came from scouting. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, I think I saw a skip button. I did skip, skip, skip. Uh, hopefully, you can turn all this off. I guess where it says um, how experienced are you? I think I I assume that's where you can turn it off. Okay, so players due to turn preseason change today. Now be a good time to review your plans for them. Okay, so this is all preseason schedule. Let's do. Let's go heavy. Yes, we got more injury risk, but let's get these bastards fit, shall we? Um, let's have a look at the club. Where is the squad? There we go. Okay. Quade Taylor's still here. I remember him. Sanchez Ming is still here. He's been around a while. Is Quade Taylor... How old is he now? See, he's 26. Why was he not listed? I'm kind of surprised at that. He's a good player. I mean, for this level, he's a good player. Um, anyone else down here? No. Wow, it's all new players. Sanchez Ming, I remember. He got injured every time I played him. But he was not bad. Gresham. Huh. All right. Well, that's it. Let's see. Um, where is my uh, under 18s? Anyone in there? No. I'm not crazy about the look of this. This is confusing. It's just it's kind of hard. Youth candidates? We don't have any of that, right? I don't like this. No. Not crazy about this. Okay. So, James Partington, first choice goalkeeper on loan from Wolves. Yeah, he's a loan in. That was confusing. Do I do a report a bug for that? Um, okay. Injury risk. Let's see. What is our schedule? Let's see what our schedule's like. Okay, so we got a friendly coming up against the second 11. I didn't know we had a second 11. How do I find the second 11? <laughs> Look, squad, right? Where's the second 11? Am I, am I being stupid here? Where's the second 11? Or do I not? Dev center. There is no second 11. Oh, 
Otherwise, it's annoying. Dulwich Hamlet second eleven. I mean, is it saying that I don't have a second eleven? It's actually just going to make them up of. It's just going to pick random fake players. Dulwich Hamlet. Click to view Dulwich Hamlet second eleven. Nothing. Okay. So that just must be missing. Hmm. That's confusing. Okay. It must just be made up of uh, greys. Grey names, whatever they call them. Um, I want to see the match engine. So let's go uh, to the next day. When's the game? Game's tomorrow. News. Uh, social feed. Yes, we don't care about that. Let's go through. Code of conduct. Uh, I'm actually going to just leave that as is. Because I just want to get to the match engine. And then I'm going to end the video for now. And then I'm going to look through it so I can actually give you a better guided tour. Uh, I just wanted to show you with it being booted up. Um, one of the best players. I never understood this. Like, potential. What am I supposed to do with this? There's no application. There's just, okay, he's a good player. It's very odd. Meet the players. Decline. No, okay. And say hi. Let's see. Oh, okay. New screen. Yes. Come on, son. Okay. Some people are negative towards me. Some people are encouraged. Some people are downcast. Well, I don't know if they're negative towards me. I see. I want to take the opportunity to introduce myself as New Dulwich Hamlet head coach. Okay, they're not going to do any of the arms raised bullshit, are they? Or Okay. On behalf of the team, I'd like to welcome you and look forward to playing under your leadership. Thank you, Michael. Nice one, son. Encouraged, encouraged, encouraged. Okay, looks good so far. Overall meeting atmosphere, slightly positive. I like this. It feels like actually it's probably the same information that was there before. But I like the feel of it. Not crazy about the look of it. Like it just doesn't feel. Ooh. I'll be making improvements in goal. Why would you say that's going to piss the goalkeeper off, isn't it? I'll be making improvements in midfield. Season, I'll be looking to reduce the size of the squad. Definitely not doing that. I'll be l I love that you can talk to the squad and tell them what you're going to planning on doing. This feels like a choice. This is always what I felt was missing a little bit, was the speeches got repetitive. But if you actually are making promises, there's a risk there with making promises. But if the actual what you say here has a genuine consequence rather than just moving the needle on the morale meter, I like that. So let's see... Um, well, we do need better midfield because we've got to play a coach in there, but it's not enough. Let's try it. What happens? I'm not sure that will change anything, but everyone in South people all means go for it. <laughs> what is this? Hang on. Downcast. Is he in midfield? I can't remember whether he's in midfield or not. Anyway, um. No gesture, point finger, point finger assertively, wave hand in an open, convincing manager. Raise hands to pacify. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know. Okay, so let's see what other promises. This is confusing as fuck, man. Okay. I'm aiming to reduce the size of the squad. No. Are we looking to strengthen the defense? Yes. But I don't want to piss you off. I'll try to improve the quality of the coaching staff of the club. Well, yes, definitely. They all, yeah, they're all like that. Can't say I'm too bothered. Diego, tough shit, mate. It's happening. Let's see what the gesture does. Point finger. Can I point finger at him? <laughs> Wait, what? What? What, did, what do I do with point finger? Point finger assertively and do what? I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Okay, can I wave my hand at something? Okay, so if I point my finger, that's ending the meeting. If I wave my hand, I can still do this. If I raise my hands, I'm pacifying. Okay, wave hand in an open, convincing manner. Um, I'm prepared to accept suitable offers for any of you if they come in and you want to leave. Oh, no. If there is anyone interested in taking a coaching course and wanting to make that happen this season... Uh, we'll likely be making some cuts this season, which means some of you will have to leave the club. Why would I say that? Why on earth would I say that? 
Okay, I'm playing to improve. Let's try this. Defensive situation. <laughs> Pissed them all off. Uh, but I'm not bothered about that. All right, Timlin. Fair enough. Let's uh, raise our hands and pacify. And let's try improvements in attack. Oh, no one gives a shit about that. They're, all, they're already way too pissed off. Okay, point finger. It's enough promises for now. Oh, oh, fuck. That was confusing. Oh, I see. Where can we finish? I think we can finish top half. I think we're good enough to go as champions. And post over champions, we can go and make the playoffs. Okay, they like that. This is really confusing. But I just started. Relax. Point finger. I hate this already. Praise. Pump fists. All right. Oh, I didn't mean that. Wait. No. Is that the sort of reaction? Okay. Oh, I just want to get out of here. <laughs> End. Wave hand goodbye. Can I wave hand goodbye? Goodbye. 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 Okay, no. Okay. On the whole, I believe the players were happy with the promises made. Me too. A few of them being received very well. The players are also largely happy with the expectations. Fine with the code of conduct. Oh, my God. This is so confusing. Okay. Apparently, it's confusing my wife as well. Uh, let's leave the meeting. Okay, let's get to the match engine. Because I really want to show you the how it plays. We're going to do a full match. Intra-squad friendly team selection. How would you like to split the players? Uh, first team versus under 18. Oh, first 11. I want to see this because I don't believe we have a second 11. We don't have a second 11. Why is it also in my inbox? Where's the squad, the, the tactics? Anyway. As requested, I've arranged an intra-squad friendly for today. I will place at Imperial Fields. You have the option of splitting the first team players between the two sides, playing against the team mostly formed of players from the under-18s team, or picking the two teams from scratch yourself. Just, just, uh... I'm going to manage the first 11 myself. Let's just take it as is. And we'll see. Matches. Dudish Hamlet, first level. If I click on that, does it take me there? It takes me to my team. Okay, so second 11 is just my second pick, I guess. That's confusing. All right, teams are warming up. Let's see, how does it look? Okay, looking pretty good. Oh, look. It's an airport. <laughs> it's a fucking airport. <laughs> That's, it looks terrible, doesn't it? I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, it is better. Holy shit, how can it still be so bad? I know that's not the focus of this game. I do get that. But it's astonishing how easy that is to fix. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe there's something going under the hood that I don't know. Okay, so how do we do the uh, kickoff? Okay. Um oh, okay, so we get a little um commentators in place ready to go, so let's get into the match. Instructions, balanced, shouts, um tactics and subs. Let's see what else do we have here? Oh, it's got it's you automatically get a match engine induction. Okay. So Keep a close eye on how the player is performing. Adjust their instructions in court accordingly. Don't be afraid to make changes if you need to. Yep. Quick changes couldn't be easier. Do I still press spacebar to pause? <laughs> and how do I change the cameras and stuff? You can also communicate the players by shouting. Yep, fair enough. What is this? Uh, our an analyst team goes on out there. But how do I see this screen? Oh, down here. Okay, down here. Next. Stats, yes, okay, we're used to the stats. Next. Oh, okay, right up there. 
And then you can also give yourself a better view of the action. How do I give myself a better view of the action? What's that mean? Okay, so let's go to settings. Here we go. Camera. 2D classic. Sideline. It's not bad. Uh, TV. This is what I used to use. Behind goal. Vertical scrolling. Data analyst. And then director. Uh, let's use the director. We're going to go extended highlights. Let's see, does this move in and out? Why can't we move this in and out? Is it because it's direct? Oh, director implies it's not up to us. So let's do it this way. Here we go. There we go. Zoom it in. It's angled down a little bit. Replays on or off. On. Let's just play, shall we? Spacebar. Okay, still the spacebar. Demand more. <laughs> Let's go. Encourage. Did I yell encourage? I want the match speed. Hang on. Match speed's got to go up. Match speed during highlights there. Match speed during... Let's try that. Did I shout something? I did, but it didn't... That was confusing. Okay, so this is what you get shown. Paused it. This is what you get shown between highlights. Okay, so expected goals per game. We're going to get into that in a different video. Um, the dugout. Don't know what that is. The visualizer. 100% uh, of attack. Oh, so early in the game. Second 11 formation. Um, okay. Quite Taylor's in the second. Taylor and Ming are in the second 11. They must have gone down a lot. All right. Uh, let's see. What can we say to Paddington? So, touchline shouts. Okay, so we get the personal shouts here. Player instructions here. What is that? That opens up. Tackle harder, ease tackles. Take more risk, fewer risk. I mean, you know what? This is a goalkeeper. So let's try this with, say, Higgs. So, touchline shouts. Player instructions. What's this one do? Player instructions. Okay. Yeah, this is all similar stuff. It's just kind of laid out a little differently. I don't mind it. I didn't like. I didn't mind it before, though. To be honest with you. Uh, gonna need skins. The community will do a better job. Expected goals. I noticed that the XG changes during the game. Now I sent out the encourage. So now how do I know how the team feels about the encourage? Sanchez Ming is getting too much space for his crosses. If we don't close him down, or better eventually one of these. Add oppositions, always press. Do it. Oh, I can do it myself or I can get them to do it. Okay, I like that. Oh, look at this clusterfuck. Are we supposed to know anything that that says? That's completely unusable. Don't tell me <laughs> anyone. We should encourage our players to try a more direct passing play. Okay, let's do that. Obviously, I would normally do that in my tactic. So. Uh, that's a mess. How is anyone supposed to be able to read that? All right, well. Still playing. Let's see, 16 minutes. Barnes. I don't even know my team. Taylor was good. I don't know why he's second 11. Oh, shit. Wait. Al Hang on. Alassani's us, isn't he? Oh, no. I didn't pick the team. I should have picked the team. Hide. Go on, son. Out wide to Mullins. Misses. Ming boots it into the back of the world. Okay, so let's, see. let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this world here. What have we got here? It's terrible. It's as terrible as it ever was. Is that a dude right there? It's terrible. My God. Let's uh, get into the action a little bit more. We need to be closer. Is that as close as we can go, really? Hang on. 
Is that really as close as we can go? Come on, zoom in. It's not zooming in. Wow, I guess it is. That's not great. Okay. I, I can't believe that that's as close as we can get. I could have sworn we could get closer in 2019. Uh, what is this? <laughs> is the game over? How can the game be over? It's not. Uh, did I click something and I don't remember clicking it? That might be a bug. Oh, good save. Huh. Hang on a sec. I gotta go look something up here because this drives me nuts. All right, it's very confusing. <laughs> it's very confusing. Uh, not quite sure what that was. What's this up here? Ah. Uh, okay. So I can leave that up. Which is good. Expected goals. I assume that we're Hamlet's on the left. Dugout is useless. Oh, I'm not liking this at all. Wow. Hmm. Again, it might just be I need to get used to it, but two great tackles, three great tackles. Oh my god. <laughs> I uh, wish I could get closer to see it. Uh, is there a better view that I don't know about? Maybe if I just lower the camera a bit. Look at this. Taking a slight injury. and in Like, does someone have a knock? Look, according to what I just saw from him, someone has a knock, right? Mullings has suffered a bruised ankle. Oh, yeah. I guess I do see that. Let's do that. Substitute off. Who can we bring on? No one. No, we'll keep you on, mate. Well, you can play till half time. Go on, Henry. Have a go. Have a go. Nice. Corey Henry. What do we know about Corey Henry? Oh, it's buggy. Like, look, it, his, his thing just disappeared. Also, I can't just click on him to go to the player screen. Hmm. Definitely buggy. I think I should report some of this stuff. Like, the fact that I can't... Okay, half time. Ah, uh, far from pleased with what I saw from this team. Not happy. Just keep going out there. Your hard work will be worth it. Yeah, the season, sure. Um, I can speak to them directly or the subs. Hand over to Junior Caddy. Well, I guess that's where he starts. Second half. Uh, this layout's horrible. It really is. It's horrible. I might. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to play a little bit off camera, but the way I'm feeling right now, I might wait until there's a few skins out because this is so confusing to look at. What does this guy play? He's the winger, right? This guy's the center midfielder. This guy's the winger. This is the fullback, the central defender. I guess it's kind of going in. It's like this doesn't, rel the shape of this doesn't relate to the shape of the team. I'm not sure what benefit I have to have these players. Is that indicating that's where they're sitting in the room? But why would I care about that? Oh, God, the gesture stuff. Throw water bottle, thrash arms, point finger, pump fist. Ha um. I see what this does. Nothing. 
Let's see what it says to the men. Show me what. Show me why you should be on the team. Hands in pockets. I don't know. Oh, I'm not liking it, FM. Point finger. Show me why you should be in the team. Okay, I guess Mullins like that. This is disappointing so far. It's just because I don't know the game. I just got to remember that. It's just because I don't know this side of the game. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, Mullins looks like he picked. He's doing okay. It's things flashing on and off screen. Like, I'm not sure what information is coming in. Parbosa. Like, look. Where's the team morale? I want to know the morale, right? So how do I bring up the morale? If I click here, I get the match stats. Can I change the match stats? No. If I click on Hamlet, what do I get? It does the same. Okay, so no matter where I click in here, it's this screen. Okay. So tactics and subs. So this shows the body language, which is what I like to see, right? But how do I show the body language so that I know that my shout... Oh, I'm in an induction. Okay, how do I change my body language? Show the body language so I know that a shout is having an effect. Oh, how do I get rid of this screen? Cancel. See, look, if I do a shout right now, say, demand more, because that's the generic shout. I think I made that shout. Let's see. I don't know. I don't see any effect. I don't see anything that says I made the shout. It's a bit of a mess. I'm going to have to look up other streamers to see whether or not they're feeling the same. Uh, right now, though, um, I don't know. It's just all over the place. I know it's a beta, right? And I know that Football Manager has been making a superb game for decades now. So I have confidence it will come together. <laughs> but, like, look at this. Surely no one's going to look at this and say that's what they want to see. This is useless and confusing. This game does not look ready for release right now. Is it just me? <laughs> Comment, tell me if I'm going mad here. This looks like a clusterfuck, though. Look here. Okay, okay, I can understand this, right? I mean, I don't really know what it's trying to tell me, but it's not confusing over here. Look, change player. This is the list of things, shouts that are coming from the dugout, things we should do. Let's add that opposition instruction. Oh, look, I don't know what this is. We've seen Jordan Higgs getting burned all too often today and then a completely empty screen. What does that mean? Let's bring on Poku. All right, so look, substitute off. Bring on Poku as a midfielder has left the wrong one, but fuck it. He's not a striker. But let's just trust you, Junior Caddy. Uh, I want to be able to bring up those screens. Why can't I bring up those screens? The screens that I show between highlights, I need. I want to put some stuff on screen. Now that gets rid of the whole thing. This, okay. Relax. Can I resize it? Can I do anything? No. So I just either have that whole thing up over the whole screen. There's got to be settings for this. Surely I'm just missing them, right? View all match preferences. Okay. Show information, show match time. Oh, that doesn't matter. Playing colors for commentary, show all player names during match. Um, processing, scheduling, viewing matches from the start screen, match storage space. Uh, no. That ain't it. I want to literally control things like the size of this. Where these boxes are on the screen. I want to be able to move it around. I mean, I want to do what I could do in previous versions. I can change. Look, so, all right, let's just get rid of that for now. So let's say, close. 
Okay, so I can't close until I close that. Now I can close that. Let's try something here. I want to go... Um, I'm going to change the, the, the mentality. It's really bugging me that I can't see their mentality, their morale, when I make a shout. Okay, let's try the mentality. Let's go attacking, see what happens. Now, that won't take until the ball goes out of play. I assume that's how it's always been. Go on, son. The camera is so far away. Camera's too far away. I can't control what shows on the screen and when. Hunt's getting sent off. Hunt, you cunt. <laughs> there we go. Off he goes. All right, so we know that happens, so now it's going to allow me to move some stuff around. Okay. So can I just pick him up and move him down there? I can. Who do we want to pick up, though? So who's that? Corey Henry. That is Nicholas Poku, who's the left winger anyway. So you can come down here. We're going to move more into the middle. I want to change your role a little bit. How do I change your role? Click on him. I can't click on him. Look at that. I can't click on this guy. I can't click on him. And click on him. Oh, I got him again. Okay. Uh, no, we'll keep him advanced forward, actually. It's okay. How easy would it be to change? Okay, that's not bad. I don't mind this screen. You can change the role. That's pretty good. You can personalize it for him. I wonder if it takes after the match or if it's personalizing just for the match. It used to be just personalizing for the match. You would have to do it in the tactics screen to change it. Anything with him. Okay, that's good enough. Connor got sent off because he's a Muppet. Confirm changes. Okay, 64 minutes. I'm not going to go defensive. No, we're going to go attacking because we don't care. We're still going to score. Oh, Joe, Henry. Oh, Henry, you Muppet. Wait, oh, Connor Hunt was sent off for them. Wait, what? Hang on. I'm, am I managing both sides here? I said not to manage both sides, didn't I? Fuck it, do it. <laughs> this is so confusing. All right, I don't, I'm not going to report bugs during this little stream I'm doing here because... I might be getting things wrong, but so far, so bad. It's so confusing what's going on here. Is this literally just a holdover from the fact that I missed the last FM? I wish I could get the camera closer. It's really bugging me that that's as close as the camera gets. Well, that's as close as the camera gets. 2D classic, sideline, behind goal, vertical. There, there's nothing there. There's nothing that will allow me to get closer. Might have to turn those sounds off. They're already annoying. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty nice. You know, ooh. There we go, Mills. Um, the, the players on the pitch look pretty nice. Like, I like the camera movement. I don't know, it feels smooth. I mean, this stuff at the background, look at this. <laughs> it's awful. This is awful. Wow. Wait. Oh, there's a little pause there. Oh, that was the um, offside pause. Okay. Expected goals. Final whistle. All right. 
Well, my initial evaluation is that it's a bit of a mess, actually. And um, let's see, what's this expected? The XG match story. What did they expect? Two one. With an XG total was far greater than our opponents. All right. Um, I think it's just a little bit of a mess right now, isn't it? It just kind of it's really confusing. Maybe I'm very attached to the way I used to play it in 2019, but it was, you know, I could I could just load the right things on screen, and everything seemed very accessible. And now it just seems like it's been moved around for the sake of moving it around. Like I really like don't like that I can't see the morale of my team on the match screen. That to me is crazy. Unless they've replaced it with one of those stupid little icons, like it's it's not a green, it's not. You can't see the, the motivation now, how motivated they are, or the body language. It's now a little smiley face. I hope they haven't done that shit. That's annoying. Um, I really don't like the dressing room gesture thing at all. That's as bad as I thought it was when I looked at the feature. It's awful. It's just horrible. It's horrible. It's, it's unnecessary, and it takes me out of me being the manager. I wonder if there's a way to turn it off. Like, it seems like it's they put a lot of work into that system, so you won't be able to, but... I don't want to shit on a company that's uh, been working through the pandemic, but that bit's fucking horrible, man. Whoever came up with that, not the best idea. <laughs> I'm a designer, I know how hard it is. But, I don't know, it just... It wasn't broken. It, it, need, it needed some improvement. Right, the way you interact with players and the team talks and stuff like that, there was room to grow there. There was room to make that much more in depth. But that should have been done with simple narrative, not with this odd feature of me gesturing. And I don't know what the hell those gestures mean. And all that's going to happen is I'm going to play this for a few hundred hours because it's still a great game. I'm going to play this for a few hundred hours and then figure out, oh, this is an arms wide open one. Oh, this is a point finger one. It's not actually going to feel like me, if that's what they're thinking this does. It's just going to be, it's just a checkbox. It's just a numbers game. It's frustrating. Frustrating. Um, I think that uh, Skins Community Skins will make it a lot better. Let's go back to the dressing room and see what happens. Uh, let's see how much. Uh, well done, guys. A good win for us. Fine, whatever. Well, you had a bad game, mate. Should be demotivated. Uh, yeah, can I talk to him directly? He's a winger, so he's a midfielder. Throw water bottle. Furious. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the? Uh, can I? Can I throw a water bottle at the designers? Whatever. Um. Uh, I got a little confused by the fact that I have to take the induction tours. That was very confusing. But I mean, hopefully that's just a one-off. Hopefully that doesn't happen every time you play a new game. Uh, hopefully the engine records that piece of information in the settings file. Um, Dulwich Hamlet, see off Hamlet. Yeah. I mean, overall, it's okay. Let's have a look at the, the finances. So this looks the same, which I like. Pretty much the same. You can... Um, projection screen. Yeah, we know what this is. This is all the way it's been... It's a little adjustment, but it's the way it always is. The club vision we talked about. I like the club vision. That's from last year. It's good. It's complex, so, so you have to take some time to go through it. But um, I like it, even though some of these don't seem in line with what's humanly possible. Like, this is in line. This is good for any point in the game other than the first season. And yet, you can still get this in the first season. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Club info... Yeah, it's just stuff moved around, but whatever. It's constant seeking Im of improvement. I still can't believe that Quade Taylor's not in the first 11. Um, transfers looks the same. Scouting, we didn't get into it much here, but just glancing at that, it looks fairly straightforward. Yeah, assignments, recruiting. To, that doesn't look to be much. There's it's One of their features was scouting, so I'm going to have to get into that at a different time. Competitions, we know this. This tells you what's going on. Schedule, pretty f straightforward. Here's the calendar. Past meetings, friendlies. Yeah, all of this is fairly straightforward. Um, medical center, still exactly the same. 
Any changes here? No. Training. I think they didn't do anything on the training. Danny Mills training well, son. Charlie Granger. Hmm. This looks pretty straightforward. I can change something here like physical. Yeah, that's all. We've seen all this before. If you've played the game, that's exactly the same. Um, staff, I need staff up, but this looks pretty much the same. Really? I'm the best fitness. Oh, it's because I because of me. I'm only fourth in the Vanarama. I'm the fittest man on the planet. Okay, team report. This is good. I'll use this. Wait, did this change? Team depth. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is where I'll be doing setting up the team, right? I take players out of here and move them around. And so I end up with the same literal number of players that I have on this screen as I do in the squad so I can see where the gaps are and who's you know low quality in that role. Uh, I would like to be able to set the role rather than just the position. Right now I can say midfielder left. It would be great if I could say uh, wide target man or winger, which it normally is, or inside forward or something like that. Um, but it doesn't look like I can do that. I can set up a scout to go find me one, but I can't change... Which would help me just for, I don't know, it would just help me remind me of what my um, tactic is. Uh, so that's the team depth, there's the assistant. There's Looks like there's a couple of new reports here. Yeah, I like this. Look at this analyst report. This is great. There's nothing in it yet because start of the season. but And then team report next opponent. opponent. Okay. Tactic screen, we know this, nothing new here. Um... It all looks the same, yes. Dynamics, squad dynamics. Worrying lack of cohesion, very good. Don't want a team meeting, has the happiness. He's concerned for about something. Aaron Barnes, 23. Uh, squad screen. Yeah, there's tons of... This is all fairly straightforward. Okay, so I think my big issues right now then, just from skimming it, don't be upset, I'm just skimming it. My big issues with it are the gesture system is horrible and a terrible design. Sorry, SI, but you definitely took a step wrong with that one. Um, and also just the match engine. The match engine might be good, but the, the UI around it is really confusing. The, the UI around the match engine could just be newbiness. Like maybe I play it for a week and I get into it and I understand where everything is. But my initial reaction, and I didn't get this on FM19, and I hadn't played it for a while before FM19. I booted up FM19, and I kind of understood the UI instinctively straight away. So I don't know whether they've got a UX designer over at Sports Interactive or something, but um, the, the, the vision of what they want to do with the game, so when you watch the match engine, that UI fits in, uh, I don't think... I think they've lost some of the instinctive usability of it. I didn't understand where stuff was. Like, I, I couldn't see the stuff that I definitely want to see. I absolutely need to see the, the body language and motivation of my players. Because that's how, honestly, that's how I decide whether I take them off most of the time. If someone's playing a 6.2 but they seem motivated, I'm keeping them on the field. If they're playing a 6.7 and they seem dejected and the player's team isn't winning, I might take them off. So not being able to see that is frustrating. And it's probably in there somewhere again. That's why I need to get to know it, like I'm saying. But initial reaction is that should be jumping out to me. You should know what the players want to see, the users want to see. And it feels like whoever designed this UX hasn't taken that into mind. They're just focusing on the look of it. It might be more of an artist that designed this rather than the designer. Which uh, is a little worrying if that's the case. I just made that up in my head though, so it could be bullshit. But exciting, we're going to get into it. I'm going to end the video now. I'll, um, I'll do another video once I've got more things to show and I actually learn it. Sorry if this was rambling and a bit loose, but wanted to get it out there. All right, Nuggets. Bye, Football Manager.